Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Melissa Morell and I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman. So that's all of you out there, lumps, bumps in all the right and the wrong places. So today we've got an exciting video for you. We are welcoming Bronda into the studio. I'm not sure of her exact sizes. I think she's a UK 18, but her troubled areas is that she's got a very large chest and she's got a barrel-like stomach long thin legs, flat bottom type of scenario. And we are going to be dressing her live on camera today. So like I say, it's the eighth in the series. So if this isn't your body shape, please do go back to the other videos and have a look because I think I've covered pretty much most body shapes now. For anybody's in interested, we do do, oh, my children all say, mum, you said do do, sorry about that. Um, we do online styling for people all over the world. And I know a few of you have had trouble booking in with me because of my availability, but we now have the lovely Claire on board as well. And she's like my right hand lady. She's always there in the background helping me style. She's a brilliant stylist and she's got a lot more availability because she's just focusing on online right now. So please do go onto the website if that's something of interest to you. All clothes today are going to be linked. We are going to try and do the Australian links as well for you this time. So the UK links will be under the main video area and the other links will be in the comments box. So let's get her in and get started. So this is Bronda, everybody. As I always say, be kind. It takes a lot of courage to come and stand up here and do this. So um, yeah, be nicer in the comments box, as you always are anyway, but I just like to say that. Okay, so let's have a look at your figure, Bronda. So she's lovely and tall. How tall are you? Five seven. Five seven, okay, so that helps being taller for a start. But where Bronda does find she has trouble is in her chest area. Yes. We what yes. what size were you? 36 double G. 36 double G, and that was measured at Bravissimo not so long ago, wasn't That's it? Right. Yes. Okay, so the double G means that this is obviously her widest part around the chest area, but her, her shoulders are actually incredibly narrow. In fact, let's just walk forward a little bit, um, Bronda, so they can see a bit more. That's it. What I'm going to do is just pull in Bronda's top a little bit, just so you can see. That's if you open your arm, that's it, just so they can see the shape. But what we're actually looking at here is the fact that Bronda's shoulders, there is her her shoulder bone. Her shoulder bone isn't here. So if you put your arms down, that's her shoulder bone. And just before we started, I started by trying a few of the jackets on her and you had told me you were a size 18. 18. All of the size 18 jackets were way too big. I would actually say that she's a 14 on the shoulders, but because the bust area, that's where, and, and, the t and to fit around the tummy area, that's where she's an 18. And just as a guide, she's typically an 18 in Marks and Spencers, aren't you? Yes, that's true. Um, and of the items that we've just had a little play with, then an 18 in Marks and Spencers does fit her but an 18 in next, for example, was way too big and she needed either a 14 or a 16. So just hire Bronda's jumper up like that so you can see more of her profile. Bronda won't mind me saying that she carries a bit of weight around her yeah. tummy area and that's why she's come to me today to see if I can help sort of disguise the tummy and the bust area. Do you want to just turn around to the side? That's it, and then keep on going all the way around, please, Rhonda. There we go. So when people have got a larger stomach area, they've often got a very flat bottom. Um, Brunda's isn't too flat. It's actually very no, nice. Just... <laughs> <laughs> must be your dance. She used to be a dance teacher, so it must be the dancing. Um, but carry on walking all the way around just so everybody can see. There we go. So that's the shape that we're dealing with today. And already I know where the problem is going to lie. We need to be able to distinguish between the bust and the stomach area. If we put her in high-waisted items like that and pull her in right under the bust, which is what all the theory will tell you to do, it's going to make her bust look a lot bigger so the only way I'm going to show you that is by demonstrating so let's get straight to it okay so just why Bronda is getting changed I wanted to show you the shoes that we are going to use in today's video because 
Bronda has feet issues. She's got pins in her feet and um, I also have feet issues. I've probably mentioned it a thousand and one times. I've had both bunions done at the same time and I've also got pins in my toes. So I actually do really struggle and this brand is amazing. And in doing the research for Bronda, all I kept coming across was sort of very old fashioned styles in them. And I wanted somebody who understood that um, I needed a nicer wide shoe that wasn't going to pinch around my bunions. Um, but I still wanted them in a nice modern colors and shape. And this company, Cala, I'll just come closer up for you there have produced an amazing array of shoes. These ones are the ones that I'm actually wearing today. You can't really see them under my suit because my suit trousers are long, um, but they're a beautiful shape, beautiful um, fabric as well. Really, really nice quality. Great size heel. I can't wear anything much more than that anymore. And they just go with absolutely everything. And a real favourite of mine are these trainers. Oh my goodness, you could walk for miles in these. So, and they're not just good for people who have got bunions, um, but they're just good for people who have got wider feet as well. Super soft, come in, a, I just went for the neutral, can you see that? Um, but they come in various colours at the back there, leather so they're washable. And the other ones that I'm going to be showing today is this beautiful loafer. You can't go wrong with a loafer, especially when you've got an ankle grazing trouser on and in a neutral colour like this, brilliant. And these were actually really good on Bronda as well because they came over the part where her um, pin lies on her foot. So she found those very comfortable. And we're also using a little sandal as well. They're really nice and padded and they've just got extra detail. Can you see on the strap there? So that you can tighten them as much as you need to so they stay on. So yeah, really, really recommend it. So the brand is called Cala. I think they're going to give me a discount code. So I will put that in the description box underneath the video or for the American market, I will put it in the comments and yeah, really highly recommend. Okay, so we have got Bronda in a t-shirt from Bowdoin. Yes. I keep saying mini Bowdoin, I'm so used to buying from there when my kiddies were little. Why is this working? Look at the sleeves. This is doing a brilliant job of balancing her out there. The V-neck is reducing the width of her breasts here, so they're looking a lot smaller. I'm also going to add a necklace. I'm adding a necklace for two reasons. One, because it's going to help further break this up. But the next part of the outfit, I'm going to bring in a cardigan and the colours all go and it'll all look, look lovely. Okay, beautiful jeans. They're a straight leg jean. They're just from Marks and Spencers. I think they were £22.50. And on the feet, we've got the colour loafers as well. Okay, what I wanted to show you here, right now, she looks nice and balanced, so she's coming in under her bust and kicking out. What we tried first of all was doing this. Tucking her top in like that. Okay. Um, And we both felt that this actually made her bust look even bigger. It's almost like her bust starts from there um, rather than sort of following the shape of her bust and then allowing her waist shape to sort of materialise to come around. So what we realised, we, and also for Bronda, it was showing her tummy area as well. So all I did was started to lower this little bit by bit. Okay, so even there, you can start to see we're now creating a little bit more of a waist. And this is down to you about how far you go. So, Bronda has got lovely long legs. So she can afford for it just to hang out like that. But a lot of people with shorter legs won't be able to afford that sort of length. What, you, what those people need to do is create a little bit of a sort of up and down look there, some interest over the tummy area that still creates the waist in at the side. Okay, now we can build on that look. That, that's nice enough and you said you, yes, you would just like wear this. it yes, like that I anyway, would. wouldn't yeah. you? 
For those of you who want a little bit more colour, cardigan. This one is from Next. We've actually got it way too big, so she probably would only be a size medium in this cardigan, maybe a large for the bust area. But I'll just show you something on the bust area. Rhonda keeps doing this and I keep turning her off. Yes, no. she does. <laughs> she keeps doing that. And I'll just take this off and show. When you do that, you're suddenly going to look really block-like and your boobs are going to look even bigger. The and more granny-ish. And more granny-ish. Yes. You, see, you're allowed to say that. I'm not, oh, allowed, I'm not allowed to say <laughs> that, so that's good. Oh, I've just noticed in the camera we're clashing as well. Yes, we are. Um, okay, so we use this as a line to separate the bust area up. And then we can pop that over like that. Roll the sleeves up a little bit as well. Maybe give her a nice handbag and there she's ready for, I don't know, where would you go in this? Um, we can't often go to a National Trust property National and Trust. it gives you the opportunity to take the jacket off or the yes. clothing off. Yes, yeah. You know. And also, yes. as you showed me earlier on, what can we do with that um, scarf? Oh yes, well I'm, I'm a very cold person yeah. and I find that this might be nice when the sun's out, but this is also quite useful. If, um, if it gets a bit chillier. Ooh, there we go. Use it as a... Use it basically as a... Pashima. Uh, Pashi... Yeah. Uh, pash... Pash... Oh dear. <laughs> we dear. can't think of what the word is. What's the yeah. word? Pashmina. That's it. Pash pashmina. <laughs> yeah. Pashmina. So you can use it as a pashmina like that as well. So uh, meet Mott Bronda, my new styling assistant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on to the next. Okay, so next we've got this really simple, but I think really beautiful dress. Except we definitely clash. <laughs> we definitely <laughs> clash, don't yes. we? We look like um, Oprah fruits. You know, it's like <laughs> yes. strawberry, raspberry flavour. Oh, here he comes again. Sorry about that. Hey, Monty. Hello. Okay, so this dress is from Bowdoin. Why does it work? It works because straight away it is broadening her across the shoulder area, which then, oh, sorry, Monty, not the camera, it's broadening her across here. The deep V here is halving her chest area. So if, for example, this was more like, so I'll just put these bits down. If this was more like that, like that, can you see now how large her bust looks, okay? As long as we open that chest area up there, then we are halving the bust area. And to further that, I'm going to put this necklace on again, um, which is the one from Next. Really nice big pendant. And with your necklaces like this, you want to make sure that they are coming over the bust line and hanging here. What you don't want is that necklace sort of bumping around sort of actually on the main part of the breast area. So we want it going over. The belt is situated, it's on her waist. We don't like it when we pull it up high like that. And that's the position that most people will tell you that you do need to wear your belt. However, it depends on how large your chest is and how big your tummy area is. So there is no hard, fast rule. What I would say is trust your instinct and move your belt to that position where you feel comfortable. And in Bronda's case, she feels more comfortable when it's lower when it's down, don't waist. you? Yeah. yeah. I think when it's higher on Bronda, it, it sort of exaggerates that bust area where this allows us to have more of a shape going on. Finish it off with a little basket bag. That's it. We'll just put that like that, just that's on the arm okay. like that. And that's beautiful for a little day out. We've got the colour shoes on again that are proving really, really lovely and comfortable. Very comfortable. Yes. Yeah, and I think um, that's great for a nice summer's day out. All right, so here's an outfit that right now in its current state is not looking good. And this is what I see all the time. Even Bronda has just said to me. Mm. That a lot of people 
walk around, around like this all yes. the time and the reason they're doing it is because they think this is hiding their tummy um, they're hiding their legs they're just basically trying to disguise themselves but what we can see here is that she's just made herself into sort of a shapeless figure really with yes. nothing going on and what we need to appreciate as women is that a larger chest or a bigger bottom or a nice waist that's part of us so we want to embrace the figure but what we also want to do is balance the figure out okay and because she's very top heavy around here having some width around here going to help balance it out we just need to make sure that we balance the entire figure out so let me show you how i would do that okay so straight away the first thing i want to do is broaden bronda's shoulders broadening her shoulders is going to make her bust look smaller and then we're also going to do something now which will make the waist look smaller so we rather than it ending here and her trying to hide the waist i'm going to create a little bit more interest and leg length so all we're going to do is pull it up just that little bit tuck it in just at, at the very front there and let the rest sort of hang down okay so you can see that we've created a, a little bit extra leg length and a little bit of interest and then we're going to add this necklace in this one is from next really sweet because it's got lots of little colors in there and we've got on the color shoes down there hello hello as always he's made his appearance just right in the middle right of, yeah at the right time hello are you gonna come and sit down there we go. Oh, we have a hug and then you can go back. Okay, love you. Right. It's going on too long now, Monty. Go and say hello to Ellie. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take this up another level now and we're going to put the matching jacket on, which I think is going to look lovely on her. Also from Marks and Spencers. Everything is linked in the description box That's under right. the video for you or the American and the Australian links in the comments box. And all I've got here is a little handbag from Marks and Spencers. And all I'm going to make sure is that it's long enough that it hangs in the right place for her. So it doesn't add any extra bulk to the areas that we don't want bulk on. Okay, so starting to look really nice, but I'm still seeing a little bit of a, um, a rounding in the shoulder area. So I want to make those a lot stronger. So just coming this way just a little bit. Thank you. So can you see the difference when I go like that? That's going to create a lot more of a stronger shoulder line than what's happening at the moment it's it's looking very yes yeah, very slouched slouch and rounded so all we're going to do is get a shoulder pad and i have to say thank you to leanne my client the other day we lost one of the shoulder pads and she was able to direct me to where i should get them without going into town so i'll put the link for them on the video and amazon are now doing these ones that i use all the time and there we go, as easy as that. This jacket is brilliant because it's already got the ruching in, um, the bag just complements the shoes that are going on. And the key is by keeping it fresh here in the middle section, you can pull everything else together and it'll always look really nice and really crisp. So you're liking that one, aren't yeah, you? I just yeah. need a little bit less. Tricep. Yes, so we yes. got her the long length by mistake, so she should have just been a regular length. And also yes. these are an 18, but we think we can come down to a 16. So if you like those, go down. Um, go down. Okay, so going now for sort of a modern, smart, casual type of look. We've got this stripy t-shirt on. Clearly, in this sort of situation, not no. good we're looking very shapeless we're looking a lot bigger and top heavy and just very barrel like across the whole figure so let's start to have a play with this so first thing that we're going to do is roll up the sleeves so that we're showing our wrists and then we're going to do a bit of a tucking in job on the t-shirt um now what we don't want to do here is tuck it all up like that 
because when we do that, again, the bust looks very deep here and it's showing off the sort of uh, thickness around that tummy area. So instead of just cutting it off like that and making all the proportions look strange, we could do either a little front tuck, but just to show you something a little bit different, if you are conscious of that belly area, all you need to do is let it hang over the belly like that, but tuck it up a little bit at the side. I just need to come here and have a look at that. That's it, okay, so we've got some coverage there over the tummy area. And we've also created a different line there. It's just not so block and straight, basically. It's, it's also allowing more of a shape to appear down here because the, it's giving us extra length of the top that is allowing us to go in and then out. And now we need to start building up the shoulders. So it's the shoulder pads again, I'm afraid. Okay, so I just wanted to show you here with the shoulder pad. That is with the shoulder pad in, that's without it. Can you see how rounded her shoulders are? The more rounded your shoulders are here, the broader you're going to look across there, okay? Um, I'm just going to flip to something else actually, something um, Bronta and I discussed at the start. So I know she doesn't mind me saying this, but one thing as well to make you look less broad around here is when, can you mind putting that up? Okay, so Bronda now has a very good bra on. A balconette. A, a balconette bra from yes. Bravissimo. Yes. Okay, but before when I very first met her, her boobs were coming more under her armpits, weren't That's they? Right. Okay, so just as an exaggeration, that when we do that and we go forward, we're gonna look a lot slimmer than when we do that. I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera, but push your boobs forward, you're going to look slimmer than having them under your armpits, okay? So that's just a little bit of a side thing. Okay, so I'm gonna put the other shoulder pad in and start dressing. Same necklace again, this one is from Next. This looks really nice, but I just want to add a little bit of sort of springtime colors and Bronda says she's a particularly cold person. So if we give her a layer that we know is going to work, so we're going to use the color trainers, but we also have these gorgeous shoes from Cala. Um, no, these ones are from Bowden. Oh, Those ones are from Cala. So these ones at Bowden, really, really nice as well. But unfortunately, the strap does come right where Bronda's pin is in her foot. But these looked really nice with the outfit as well, and they're a particular favorite of mine as well. So they're from Bowden. Okay, so you can see how we've started to build it up here. We've added a little bit of colour. As long as the base layers are fairly neutral, navy, white, maybe khaki green and white, something like that, you can add a pop of colour on. And we can bring that back, that scarf that we used before as well, if she wanted to create a little bit more of a line. But beautiful just for a day out sightseeing or That's... whatever. And the colours go so well, which I wouldn't have put together. Yes, yeah. yeah. So, um, really nice, really nice and fresh colours for her. Okay, so we've got the same trousers on from Marks and Spencers that we had on before, but this time we've added this top from Bowdoin. The reason why we picked this top is because it's got the lovely gathered sleeves. So when you're trying to increase your shoulders, you don't just have to do it with shoulder pads. You can do it with sleeves like this. This top is a little bit big. Um, Bronda thought she was an 18, but I think on top we're looking at more of a sort of 16. Um, and that's probably because she was trying to account for her bust area. But most of the tops these days are made slightly oversized anyway. So even with a bust the size that uh, Bronda has, I think she can still afford to go down slightly. But it's quite a big, busy top. So we're going to put this really nice necklace on from neck and rather than leaving it at that level we're going to roll up the sleeves do you want to do that yes. side great thank you and we're just going to do a little tuck again you could do a side tuck or you could do a little half tuck but just something that allows us to see that uh, waistline there so that looks a lot better straight away yes. like i say that this needs to be a little bit smaller really you're looking for that part where the gathers come you're looking for that to finish on your shoulder so then we benefit from the sort of puff out as well so it would be more like that but really lovely colors and the reason i wanted to show it is because 
what's emerging from today's session is a beautiful capsule wardrobe for her so the green in the top is going to go really nice with the green that we had in the jacket and now she's got a completed outfit ready for one of her meetings she's not going to pull it over her bus like that are um, you Bronda? no i've learned my lesson <laughs> So there we go, everything's looking really nice, really coordinated and she could wear this jacket with all of the clothes so far that we've shown. Really nice. Okay, so next we have done the complete outfit and this time I'm going to dismantle it in front of you basically to, see, to show you what it looked like originally. So we've reused that same Marks and Spencer's blazer as you can see and put it with this beautifully light cotton yes. dress isn't it yes, it's, it's another gorgeous. one from Marks and Spencer's um, I actually went for it in the long length which I hadn't actually mentioned to you no and the reason for that is again it's trying to make you not look too old-fashioned that often people um, have it maybe just at that slightly oh, wrong length. yeah mm -hmm. at that slightly wrong length Mm -hmm. And as we start to mature, if we get our lengths wrong, it can really age us. So with this, I actually wanted it as a full length dress so it didn't look old fashioned. We've actually added this belt on and we've done it more on her waistline than we have right under her bust. And we've still used a necklace to separate down here and she's got the sandals on from Callum. So I think she's looking lovely in this. Let's just show you the raw material and what did work and what didn't work. So if we take this off, the first thing to say is that I had to add in shoulder pads because her shoulders were sloping a little bit. Now, the reality of adding shoulder pads in under her bra strap is that they're showing on the dress. So you couldn't do it like that. You'd have to add more shoulder pads to the actual jacket. But I think probably Bronda agrees that adding a stronger shoulder to everything so far works well. Works well. So I think that's where it that's that's where your investment is spent really is going to a seamstress or whatever and just adding a couple of yeah. extra ones in there. We continue to dismantle. What we've got on here is just a black belt from Amazon. It's linked. We did go with a colourful belt first of all, but it just didn't look mm -hmm. right. Oh. This dress has got to survive by itself without all of the styling, really, hasn't yes, it? Yes, it's just yeah. hands. But one thing I would be conscious of is that it's hanging from her bust area. But on a, like, let's say she was just popping out to the shops or something like that, you didn't want yeah. to put the blazer on, another little technique that you can use for halving that area is to put a cross bag. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So if we so if we put the bag over you like that, there we go. Okay. So that just helps break up the sort of the bust area and sort of the big voluminous pattern and everything. So doing little things like that is what you need to do once you've dismantled everything. Okay. So not a lot to say about this one other than I think it's gorgeous on her. Love the colour, really nice, goes lovely with her eyes. She's got her own necklace on there, which has just got a little bit of blue in, but I think that was just perfect with this suit. Um, it's from Hobbs. It does a great job of pulling her in around the waist. And the reason why I love this is, A, it's one piece. Yes, we know it's difficult when you go to the toilet. That's when you are sitting, at least you've got a new bra on. <laughs> so when you sit on the loo you are there a little bit exposed that's not great other than that a one piece we're not having to think about anything here we've got the color shoes on that have just gone with absolutely everything the buttons here are doing a great job of halving up her chest area the tie is obviously nipping her in at the waist the v-neck is reducing her breast size here and the wide leg trouser here is balancing out everything there so nothing else to do with that a great summer one piece outfit it feels so very comfortable feels very comfortable yeah. and that's from Hobbs again everything is listed for so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you could press that subscribe button i would be very grateful i hope you found that useful next video is swimwear
And I can't say I'm looking forward to doing that because I think I'm going to have to expose myself in some capacity, but hopefully that will help you. It's swimwear for all different body shapes, so I will see you again soon for that one. Thank you. Bye-bye.